Now with 100% more ducks. Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here, and welcome to the FTOG Avant 3 server. And I am here at Mistaken's base. Let's flip around and take a quick look. Uh, this is her Botania area, and that's her massive farming area over there. And that is her Westminster Abbey build that looks fantastic. And I'm here because I've been doing some enchanting. Uh, I went ahead and slapped on a whole bunch of different enchants on here. All my armor now has both mending and soulbound. Uh, they all have a tier 4 protection of some sort. Uh, normal protection on everything, but I, I wanted fire protection on one because uh, I hit lava enough times that it's it's worth having. Uh, and then I also added the uh, depth strider on this one so I can if I'm slugging through water while caving, it's a little bit faster. And let's see, this one... I'm not sure... Oh, it's got efficiency 5 now, and I'm breaking on here. And I just realized that I don't have mending <laughs> on this guy. Uh, I need to, to do that. But uh, you can see I brought a bunch of books here for enchanting. And... I ate up all the mana in this pool, <laughs> completely gone, and, and I was moving the spark around to these corner uh, pieces and th that was uh, finishing up the enchantment. So I said, I should come back here and, and repopulate the mana. So I've gone through 10 stacks of beef already, and I just came back with another three stacks of beef and six more stacks of mutton, and that's what it's chewing through right now going through the last of the, the the beef and mutton and I also spent a little AFK in here uh, before the server re restarted and just to, to make sure that it had some more time to process the stuff through and I also went ahead and added a couple of these spreaders here to, 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 to set that off Oop, and MG Rose went anyway uh, that way it's kind of pushing more of the the, the mana over here for people and I really appreciate uh, Mistaken letting me do that. I went ahead and tossed a uh, mending book here so that if people have it, there's Unbreaking, Soulbound, Protection 4, and Mending. And so if people want to slap mending on their stuff, they can. I don't think that it's possible since I don't have mending here. I don't think I can add something to an already enchanted item. Yeah, see, I can't place it here on the, the mana enchanter. So that means if I want mending on my bow, I'm going to have to go ahead and, and get another one of these. And it's not all that uh, expensive. 21 levels, 15 lapis, and one of these experience rods from Ender.io. And it's just solarium and, and energetic alloy. And pretty easy to, to make. So I may make it an extra book. I think I have one... Yeah, I've got an extra one, but I want to keep a copy of, of these, and I'll stick them in my, my chest so people can use it there. Anyway, uh, I was playing with the Pure Daisy, and that was causing me to crash like crazy. Uh, I could place down one item, so I grabbed some logs and put a, a log next to it because I wanted to make some of these and use my own supplies instead of taking mistaken. So I'd put down a, a log next to the pure daisy. That was fine. As soon as I put a second log down, my client would crash. And that's not very helpful. But it at the end, after doing that, I think four times and confirming, yep, it was the second log it was always the second log, and it didn't matter really how much time I did between it. Ugh. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and back to base. Boop. And, oh, other stuff. Uh, I put Soulbound on my handy bag and on my Angel Ring. I don't have Soulbound on my charge port. Well, normally I keep it up here, but in case it's in my inventory and I, you know, it's pretty cheap to make, but I've got a soulbound extra set of books, so let's grab some levels and can I enchant my porter? One level. <laughs> Done. Alrighty. So let's put those back. Cool. But that's not really what I wanted to do. Just give you a little catch up. Oh, 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 oh over here. I've got the lens on. I did. I found them in here, in my output chest, because for some strange reason, on the back I had an ender um, item conduit 
sitting back there sucking stuff out of my my system why does my reconstructor need to pull out items i don't know i don't know why it was there oh uh, well anyway so that that's that's taking care of that but uh if you probably noticed i had a few things in my bag yeah. that i'm going to be doing with today hey, no nope. let me through let me through and over here uh remember where i i had uh, two episodes ago i had my void resource miner here well i want to change things up i want to go ahead and put here a or minor. Let me grab these two things too. So, oh, and I also need you, the assembler. So, this is the tier 3 solar controller. So, that means it's a 9x9 nine nine for the, the solar panels. That's 49 of these guys. Uh, there's uh, no, I can do math. There's 7x7. Seven seven. <laughs> the tier 4 is a 9x9 nine nine and you need 81 of these, and that's a lot. And uh, I decided to go with Alabaster this time for, for this one. Uh, so, eh, let's go ahead and snooze real quick. There. <laughs> I love having that sleep charm. It makes it so fast. So, let's slap that down there, and then you notice I have my shield off. It means I can hold down the right kick key and on my mouse and it just works. Hey, out of my way. And clickety 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 I think it's done. All my items gone. Alright, so this is the tier three solar panel and I it's really cool looking. Now if we take a look uh, too late. <laughs> if we take a look at tier three and tier three the, the solar panel controller uses this funky stabilized ender pearls. Well, that's just iron and ender pearls. That, that's, that's cheap. Mica. This requires mica. All the tier 3 and tier 4 stuff um, requires mica. And so that's why I, I built the resource miner for that. Two of the tier 2s, which needed two of the, the tier 1s. So lots of gold and lapis, but uh, that's okay. I can, I can do that. So let's take you off here and I want to slap you on and let's go ahead and configure you 22,000 almost is coming in so if I left click you it says 25 why am I not getting a full 25,000 out of you I don't know uh, but no there's nothing above so anyway Let's go ahead and take these. This is next. This is the tier three ore miner. And it needs a whole bunch more things. So 52 of the hardened stone machine bases, 56 of the tier three structure blocks. It uses eight of these modifier cores and I upgraded two of them to speed. Any more than that and the power would be more than this solar array uh, actually supplies. And then some laser cores and some clear lenses. And these, I have to admit, the, the structure of them is funky. There we go. Oh, it's all done. Oh, it must be charging this little piece here. All right. Let's go ahead and left click. See, it's going to be using 4 million RF before it mines something. But that's okay. It's free power. And this is one of those uh, uh, capacitor banks, one of those 25, uh, 25 million capacitor banks. So it uh, gives me a little buffer during the night before it runs out. So let's go ahead and left click and let this build. Come on. You can do it. That's a lot of things it needs to build up. Da, 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 done? Done! All right, there is my void miner. Warm. Uh, although part of that is, is the waymark I've got. So let's get rid of that waymark. Uh, void, let's turn you off. All right, so. Vroom, shooting out. Okay, so this is where I need my chest again. Or crate, this is a crate. Let's slap you right there. And, oh, are you not quite making it? Ah. Uh, 
in my testing in in my um that two of them was sufficient for this to handle it you know I may have to downgrade one of them because I, I want there to always be sufficient power and and not uh, not overstretching it that or I could set up something so I can pipe in the extra little bit of power I need from the other one anyway let's see what we got pretty fast so ruby or don't care lapis Perdo or Perdot, depending on where you want to pronounce it. Eh. Coal, nether, and some topaz. Uh, I'm really looking to see if it will generate stuff like uh, the dimensional ore. Uh, that would be cool. There's some appetite. Iron. Some good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so I'm thinking I want to chunk load this. Let's make sure this is all in a chunk. It is all in a chunk. So I'm thinking this bad boy I want chunk loaded so it is constantly running it's constantly pr producing ore for me and I can go ahead and set up a building around this that will store the ore in accessible crates so that I can or storage drawer so I can uh, access that that way so uh, let's lazy uh, let's, let's go and make a uh, let's see, there's one from Ender Utilities. Um, now I'm trying to remember the name of it. Um, it's not just Chunk Loader because that's this one from Extra Utilities 2, and that requires a villager under contract, and also, and I'm, um, I'm not sure how much that, that I have redstone power needs. Um, Ender, let's go to. And uh, utilities. There's five pages worth of stuff because I can't remember if it's in Ender IO or Ender Utilities. No, do, 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 do. I am drawing a blank. Oh well, uh, let me look that up again because it's it's not all that expensive. And I believe it does just a single chunk. And so that's what I was looking at producing. So I will go hunt that thing down and be right back. Aha! I found it! And it wasn't the Ender items or Ender IO or Ender Utility or any of those that, that was it. It's under Random Things. And it's the Ender Anchor. <laughs> so it was the name of the item, not the mod that uh, that was ender so that is just obsidian and a stable ender pearl which is just more obsidian lapis and ender pearl so that's pretty cheap let's go ahead and do that uh where'd you go there you are i need one of you gimme and one of you also gimme that's a one chunk loader so oh hey it's night sleep uh so that's a one chunk loader, and that is all I need there, and that will be my only loaded chunk uh, so far in the game, and probably, I don't know, maybe one of the, the few loaded chunks I will do. And let's see. Don't, let's see what we want. This key, that's the key, yes. All right, let's just slap you right here for right now. Plop. So that will load you, and you yeah you're completely out so for some reason and I don't know why because my, my testing in the uh, let's take you out and you should start filling up because you're no longer working yeah you're no longer working why are it's like you're not generating anything is that you Really? Huh. Huh. <laughs> Fine, I'm going to take you and move you down a bit. Let's put that there, that there, break you there, there. Now you're not technically touching. Is that okay? Are you okay with that? Let's break one of you. And you can see that the power is dropping. Let's slap you there. Will you... Okay, you do work with that. All right, fine. 
because that way I can smooth move this over here slap that there and okay we are positive that's what I wanted it was interesting that it says it's a 25 million or 25,000 RF per tick but it it's not really doing that yeah 25,000 RF per tick but yeah it's not doing that it's doing like 22 and it's clear all the way up I don't know I don't think this actually cares about the angle of the sun like some of the other ones do you know so you generate very little down there but then when it's overhead you generate the max nah nah I don't think it does anyway let's take a look here oh 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 longs delight longs delight shard uh, the the thing that's interesting about this one this is the only place to get it just like mica is the only place to get the other and with this you can make witherproof blocks I think that's pretty slick so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so iron glowstone uh, there's that black quartz cool red stone, diamond very nice copper tanzanite I kinda like the the look of the purple tanzanite when that's all built tin resonating ore not done anything with the deep resonate uh, deep resonance uh, mod yet but I'm that's interesting gold good I need gold I, I blew through so much gold to get these things um, built because each one of these tier three you gotta make the tier one that uses two gold each and then tier two uses two diamonds each and then tier three uses an ender pearl and uh, glowstone uh, uh, also redstone and all of those but you know could do that could do that so cool there's my something for nothing out of all of these which works out very nice are you full again yep yep you're full again so that works grand and got a little zombie hiding down there hello zombie got you oh, I missed I never miss stop moving yes there it goes alrighty that's looking really nice that's working out well and I'm gonna run away and go back to mistaken's place and uh, chunk load that myself and see if this actually chunk loads it should it should but I've not tested it so anyway I'll be back in it later I've been looking at the random things mod and there's some fun stuff in there like the this different colored grass I'm thinking that would be fun different colored brick that would be fun to do I've done some of these item and advanced item collectors in in different seasons uh, but not going to deal with them for right now but the ender mailbox that I do want to go ahead and, and play with I've had fun with that before in the Nima lands uh, server and so I was thinking that would be fun to set that up again do I have any fences I don't think I have any fences I, I do now. Alright, so there's my mailbox. Let's go ahead and I think I'll stick you right there. So, uh, if I right click, no, if I right click you, right click you, yeah, there we go. And that's the, the stuff I can put, um, I can mail stuff to people using an envelope, and when they mail stuff to me, it'll come in here. And I just need to remember I gotta click the, uh, the stick and not the, the top, and the little flag will pop up and say I've got mail so that that's kinda cool uh, I don't know how much we use it because we can bounce around fairly fast on the server so that's not a problem uh, the other thing come back here you uh, I like these grass but there's nothing to in the 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 GUI here to show how to make that but I did see this dying machine and I'm thinking that may be it what am I missing I need a green and a black wool. Do I not have black wool? I should have black wool. Uh, let's see, you're lime, 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 lime. You are green. Because I believe, let's see, cactus. I have cactus. And we'll do the, the, the standard thing where you just uh, fry the cactus up. Cook. And did you see that? Black dye. That's not what I'm wanting from the cactus. Uh, Enzy Hook was uh, complaining about that. He says, hey, how come that's not working? <laughs> uh, yes, so wool, not wall, wool, there we go. And can I die one by one? I can. Cool, 
that's all I needed there. And then green, let's go ahead and do one of those. And then I need a mortar and pestle. Mortar, if I remember my botania right. And I'm assuming that that's been ported over. Do I have any bolts? I do have a bolt. Cool. All right, so that should give me a green die, or the equivalent of. And so now, dying machine. Do you need power? I probably. Let's grab some grass, and let's grab some dirt in case it will be happy with dirt. My guess, grass, because, you know, that's what we're dealing with. And since you, well, let's see. Let's come over here. And if I drop you right there, ooh, it doesn't look like it needs any, well, cool. <laughs> All right, let's come back this way. <laughs> I don't need power for it, so, but I do need some more dye. Um, what do I have by way of dye? Actually, you make dye. Let's make some black grass because, you know, why not? So, dyeing machine there. Will you work with dirt? Nope, you are definitely... N oh. Um, no. <laughs> but let's do a grass block. Oh, come on. Let's put... Am I duplicating stuff here? Let's put one in. You saw me. I clicked it there. Are you going in? Ah, that's weird. I clicked it again here and it went in. But I don't see... Makes me think it does want power. Uh, it may not be the, the, the actual item. It may be that I'm lagging bad. So let's put you here because I doubt that I'm going to be using gobs of it. And that should give power if it needs power. So, a die here. Okay, so that seems to work. And let's take a grass block there. Yeah, it's, it's weird. I had to click it, and it did stuff. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be doing anything, does it? That's just a grass block, although that's consumed. Look again. Yeah, that's... This may now be a black grass block. Well, it doesn't say that it's black. It looks green in my inventory, doesn't it? Uh, let's go ahead and drop it here. And put that right there. <laughs> All right, I'll have to play with that. <laughs> I thought it would be cool to have multiple uh, fun designs, but nope. It doesn't want to do that. Uh, let's get rid of mortar. Uh, something else that I've been wanting to get from the actual editions is this player interface because I want to be able to have my porter charged all the time as I use it back and forth and I'm tired of running around the corner and grabbing stuff so I'd like to have it all charged. I've got two of those, I've got plenty of those. Uh, advanced coil, that's one of the... Am I out of redstone? Really? Fine. What else do I need? Uh, I've got two of these empowered diamantine crystals. Ooh! Block black quartz. Well, that's that's easy. That's just four of those uh, ender pearls I got. Uh, so that's four times five. That's twenty-two that I need of this. And how many of these empowered diamantine crystals do I have? And pow empowered. I have four. Alrighty. Diamond. That means I need to have th stop that. It seems sometimes if, if I have a recipe that I haven't cleared out completely, it kind of remembers it. Uh, but I do want redstone, redstone. Alright, let's go ahead and charge these guys. I want you there. And because it's got the disenchanting, that means I can't really do anything with it. But I can just pull it off that fast. Uh, and a redstone. Done. 
And let's put you, the lens back on. That easy. Ah, la, 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 la. Let's see, the redstone, let's break that back down to here. Let's make the coil. One of those. And then one of those. All right, so that's done. And these ender casings, that's where I need these bits. I need four of these, one, two, three, four, I have five of them I needed. And then I need to charge this three times, so I need 12 of these. One, two, three, four. Alrighty. So I showed off the, the charging stand last time here. The empowerer, can I do three? No, I can only do one at a time. That's okay. Uh, I will go ahead and do this, and I'm going to cut because one, the frames go absolutely crazy, and two, this takes forever, even though I've got lots of power going in it. So, back in a sec when these are done. Nine hours later. <laughs> so, it finally got the third one done. Let's go run and convert these. Alrighty, so, do do do. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so I've got enough of those. I should be able to make these. One of those, that is what those All right, there's my five. And then let's go ahead and make this. Player interface, yay. All right, so with this, this acts as if it's me. So if I slap this down, I'm gonna slap it back there because I don't really need it. So it's now bound to me and that's my UID. And as I use stuff here with my porter, it's going to be just give me gobs and gobs and gobs of energy. So let's shift click and let's go to the mining dimension. Let's set that. And since it's cross dimension, that should be a chunk of energy. And look once it out, out. Am I getting, uh, that was just ouchy from from that. Okay, that's strange. I've not teleported in and taken damage like that. I have taken damage from skeletons shooting at me, which is not much fun. But if we take a look at this, it's not fully charged. Well, I know why. Because it's not chunk loaded back there. That's why. Let's go ahead and set this and let's go back to the main base. And if we take a look at that, it's charging it up. Ah, okay, so uh, if I were to go ahead and actually chunk load this area, then I, that would make a, a big difference. But if I don't chunk load, because eh, I've not found the need to do so, um, nom, 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 nom. Other, other than, you know, the, the fact that, hey, it would be nice to have this charged all the time, uh, it means that I can teleport around, and when I'm back here at my base, I'm fully charged up in just seconds. So, free bone. Alrighty, well, I think I've done a few things here. What do you think? There we go. I can handle it. Got a void ore ma miner going. That's tier three, and that is chunk loaded. That should produce some really good stuff. And I'm, you know, I'm lazy. I'm very lazy. That's why I'm happy to have the digital miner rather than pulling out my, my pick and going choppity. I think I just broke that. And uh, breaking stuff that way. Instead, I would much rather use the digital miner, but hey, why not let the void ore miner do the work for me 24 seven? I think that's even better. <laughs> anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here on the FTOG Avant 3 server having a blast. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.